now at six, a historic moment. The FDA approved the first drug capable of preventing type 1 diabetes. The new treatment could help millions of people, and it turns out a local researcher played a key role in this. WCPO 9 News reporter Larry Seward explains. Dr. Steve Woodle lives by transplant, the surgeon trained to save lives through organ transfers, whose donated liver makes it personal. Just came out of the blue. Is at the heart of research that could change the leading cause of kidney failure and adult blindness. Wow, first drug to be able to prevent type 1 diabetes. It's kind of a big deal. In the 90s, Dr. Woodle helped engineer an antibody that knocked out side effects for organ transplants. But the company involved lost interest in the drug called teplizumab. Its market share had dropped. And so the whole thing sort of got dropped by the company out of a lack of interest. And that's where Jet Bluestone picked up the ball and ran and realized, I mean, he realized that this had potential in type 1 diabetes. Usually diagnosed in children and young adults, type 1 diabetes affects more than a million Americans and thousands in the tri-state. Matt Monning lives with type 2, but he knows too well the burdens and risks both types of diabetes bring. The complication of it just took my friend's life last week, you know, so... It's one of those things you have to stay on top of. Researchers pushed to Blizzomab until FDA regulators approved it with Dr. Woodle watching. It felt pretty good. It, you know, it just tells you the science. You never know which way science is going to go. He hopes it moves health care forward. Dr. Woodle says his role is small and was early. Still, one of the developers called him to celebrate his role. That's a call Dr. Woodle said he wasn't sure he'd ever get. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.